Hello fellow Cloud Gurus and welcome to this episode of Azure This Week. I have a few big announcements to come your way, including VSTS rebranding to Azure DevOps, the large Azure outage, what happened and what should you do now, plus new powerful debugging tools for Azure HD Insight, now in public preview. This is all to come in Azure This Week episode 119. But before I get into all the delicious content for this week, I want to share that a Cloud Guru will be at Microsoft Ignite in Orlando, Florida from 24 to 28 of September. Because why not? If you had a Miss Ignite, find myself, the very handsome Peter Sparsky of AWS fame, or babyface Sam Kroonenberg, and have a chat and maybe some free socks. Who knows? Much more on that to come over the next two weeks. We start with the big news on the products and services side from Redmond. This week, Visual Studio Team Services, Microsoft's collaboration platform for project management, source code, agile development, build pipelines, and so much more, has got both a new name and new features. It is now known as Azure DevOps, which is indicating the tight integration with Azure, as well as the focus on more sort of DevOpsy type things. Azure DevOps is so much more than .NET development specific though, so this new name makes sense as a way to indicate inclusion of any kind of development. The Azure part of the name might indicate a shift to only work with Microsoft's cloud offering, but this is not the intention. Any kind of cloud development will work with Azure DevOps. So if you want to use Azure Pipelines to build and test a node service from a repo in GitHub and deploy it to a container at AWS, go for it. Now from the awesome evolution of Azure DevOps to more breaking news. Yeah, I made a pun. Anyway, on the 4th of September, the Azure Data Center location of South Central US was knocked out of service due to a severe thunderstorm in San Antonio. Not only were the services and resources hosted in that region severely affected, well, they were completely out of service actually, <laughs> uh, but any other customer around the world using Active Directory or Visual Studio Team Services, now Azure DevOps, uh, were also hit. And that's a lot of customers. Microsoft have themselves released details of exactly what happened. See the link for all the details. Uh, the thunderstorm mentioned before created a voltage swell that tripped part of the data center onto backup generator power, but somehow also overwhelmed and shut down the cooling systems for that part of the data center. And thousands of servers with no cooling is bad. In fact, the temperature rose so quickly that some hardware was damaged before shutdown. As bad an experience as this was for customers, in fact, it was, you know, I was directly impacted by this as well on one of my projects. Credit to Microsoft for providing this level of detail. Customers deserve nothing less, and understanding the cause of outages helps everyone get better. Microsoft has also started to roll out availability zones within a single data center to mitigate the risk of failing equipment resulting in downtime in the future. Now the public preview of the Apache Spark debugging toolset for HD Insight for Spark 2.3 clusters and forward is here. Yes, I know, that's what you have been waiting for, right? At least if you work with huge data clusters in Spark. The default Spark history server user experience is now enhanced in HD Insight with rich information on your Spark jobs with powerful interactive visualization of job graphs, data flows, and much more. The new features greatly assist HD Insight Spark developers in job data management, data sampling, job monitoring, and job diagnosis. That is it for this episode of Azure This Week. To recap the news from this episode, VSTS has been rebranded to Azure DevOps and especially open source projects are getting a lot more love. Free stuff, you know. The large Azure outage due to a massive severe thunderstorm in Texas means major disruptions to Active Directory, Azure DevOps, and many other customers. Great disclosure and transparency for Microsoft though about what actually happened. And then great news for Spark developers using Azure HD Insight. You have all the debugging glory available. See you soon for more clouding development news. And don't forget that we are at Microsoft Ignite from the 24th to the 28th of September. If you want to come and say hi or give the most amazing high five ever, hey, go for it. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Mm -hmm.